soft leaf convertible hair clip. What does that mean? Uh oh. What is it? <gasps> I want to open it. I'm so excited about this little thing. Oh, oh, it opens so nicely. Kind of. Okay. Oh, oh, it like completely folds out. All right, let me show you guys. I'm getting my fingerprints in here. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this is exciting. Okay, this feels like another heavy thing. It just says Avon. Avon Americana belt buckle train. A belt buckle? An Avon belt buckle? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and we have Avon today. All right, so most of us know of the Avon name. Um, if you guys resell or collect things in other categories besides vintage, you know that Avon also sells perfumes and makeups and even things like dishware and collectibles and things like that. But today we're going to be obviously unboxing the Avon pieces. Avon's founder was David H. McConnell and he initially was a door-to-door -door salesman selling books. Obviously it was not Avon at the time, but in 1886 he decided to break away from the door-to-door -door book selling and sell perfumes. So Avon technically started as a perfume company and it wasn't called um, Avon legally until 1939. So after 1939, that's where we see Avon and catalogs with Avon pieces in it. And is Avon jewelry in particular <clears throat> worth collecting or and worth reselling? If you guys are have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love selling Avon. It is one of my bread and butter sales. And bread and butter means that it is something that might sell at a lower cost, but sells pretty regularly for me because of the name behind it. Um, there are some pieces by Avon that can go for quite a bit of money, um, like Elizabeth Taylor by Avon, or for Avon, I should say, that can bring a lot of money. There's also Kenneth J. Lane for Avon. I've sold a couple pieces there for um, a decent profit. And then also there's YSL. There's a, a particular YSL brooch for Avon that can sell for a lot of money. There are also some like other Avon pieces that can go just based off it, of its collectability. Um, and I don't know, maybe we'll see what we can unbox today, but I am excited to get into this. So you guys are not going to be able to see me today. I am a hot mess. I am so sick and I've been so sick all week. I have like a sinus infection, ear infection, vertigo, all the things, and I'm trying to take it easy. But my mom and her brother, my uncle, <clears throat> are taking the girls for a walk, getting and sleeping. So I thought now would be a great time to get a little video in. This is the end of my <clears throat> big auction haul that I bid on and won. <clears throat> it was around $450 I spent for it all. There was part one, part two, and part three <clears throat> of all the loose jewelry, and this is the boxed Avon portion of it. So um, if you guys haven't seen those videos, go ahead and watch those after. They are absolutely amazing. You guys would die. Um, and if you guys know me, I included this in my bidding. Um, I also won this because I love selling Avon. If you know me, I love selling 
Avon <laughs> almost every single weekend I have an Avon piece to sh to share with you guys so this um, if you guys um, grew up with Avon and looked at catalogs and things like that this might bring you some nostalgia I did not grow up with Avon jewelry so I'm excited to see what's all in here see if I've recognized any of the pieces if I've sold any of the pieces and um, I am ready to dig in <clears throat> so I wanted to mention that after I figured out like I counted up all these pieces and I'm probably most likely going to sell every piece <clears throat> unless it's broken because th these are like new old stock and um, um, if I counted all the pieces of my yes that's not including my maybe pieces <clears throat> I include it like if I'm inclu including all the yes pieces I I have a little bit over 300 pieces <clears throat> altogether. Now I am going to be listing more than that because I've noticed that there's, uh, like for instance, a Monet bangle matches the Mon Monet earrings. Um, it's like a textured bangle that I thought was nice but it didn't have a mar mark on it. Well, they were a match to the earrings that did have a mark. So things like that, I'm like, oh, things I noticed um, <clears throat> that I will include. So my average cost of goods per piece is $1.50. Well, less than $1.50 per piece of jewelry. So that is how I'm figuring it out here. That's how I'm going to be putting it into my inventory <clears throat> is that um, each each piece is going to cost me around a well less than a dollar fifty so grab yourself something to drink I have some hot coffee I've been drinking tea all day and let's get into these pieces I'm wondering if some of these we have double so we have this big box here it says a for Avon and it does say on the side what this one is so it says decorative manuscript initial pin k um here oh it's in a very 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 pretty pa packaging oh and it has flowers so it looks like a k brooch i'm not going to take it out of its packaging but oh this is so pretty in itself like that would be really pretty to decorate with like the, um matte picture matting or whatever it's called <clears throat> Uh, so pretty. Okay, so there's that one. And it does say cleaning instructions and everything. Let's close that one up. <clears throat> All right, so what does this say? Jose Maria Barrero? That's not Avon, is it? Oh, it does say Avon. So there's a couple of these. Is there any more? Um, so there's two of these. Well, let's see what it is. Jose Maria Barrera clip earrings. Interesting. Let's see. The Allure of Silver. Artfully crafted exclusively for Avon. This design reflects the timeless elegance and shimmering luster of silver. The polished beauty of this silver-plated jewelry is protected by Avon's anti-tarnish shield, a special tarnish-resistant finish to preserve the finish. Wipe with a damp cloth, dry with a soft one. Never use silver polish. Okay. Here we go. Are these clips? So they have like leaves on them <clears throat> and they are clips. So that's what those look like. Very pretty. I have not heard of, um, what is it? Jose Maria Barrero. I kind of want to look that up. Should we? Should we look that up right now? All right. Jose Maria Barrera. Okay. So it's Barrera. Oh my gosh. There is a necklace here. <laughs> that is $195. Okay, okay. There's some clip-on earrings. Someone has listed for $46. Is this is this something special that I don't know about? $49. Okay, let's do clip-on earrings. Let's make it more specific. I have never sold a Jose Maria Barrera before. So we are learning together. Yay. Okay, <clears throat> $39. Okay, these look like mine except for their pre-owned. Mine is like new old stock and they're gold. They were 22 and now they got marked down to 1650. 
but oh my gosh, there are a lot um, of very, very highly priced Jose Maria Barrera. Wow. Very, very um, expensive. That's incredible. Okay, we learned something new. I wonder what the other one is. Is that, did I do this one? Are they the same? They are marked the same. <clears throat> so are these the, were these the ones I just opened? They might be. If so, they are the same exact earrings I already opened. So yeah, we have two of the exact same. Um, I didn't see any silver so far um, from my research, but um, yeah, I'll probably price it higher just because that name is something and it's silver tone. So we'll see. All right, we have some flowers. Are there any more flowers? So this one, oh, these are both different. Bragg locket. What is that? Okay, so it says, da da da. So it says to use a drop of glue or tape for photos. Oh my goodness, look at how adorable. I am so sorry for my nasally voice. It is a book. Okay, okay, look at this. I wanna open it. I'm so excited about this little thing. Oh, oh, it opened so nicely. Kind of. Okay. Oh, oh, it like completely folds out. All right, let me show you guys. I'm getting my fingerprints in here. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this is exciting. That is so exciting. I love that so much. Someone will love this. It's a necklace. Um, with a little book thing. So Bragg Locket. Interesting. I love that. So I'm wondering if the lady who owned this estate sold Avon. Was she an Avon collector? I don't know, but she had a, like a lot of interesting pieces before. All right, let's do this one. So this, oh, this one says um, Lily of the Valley. And I don't know if it was, who sent me that Lily of the Valley cameo because that started my lily of the valley collection <laughs> i'm going to add this to my collection i think so if you guys don't know my name is lily works aka rachel um, but my business is lily works and i chose to use the um lily of the valley motif for my business and so now i've been collecting my lily and I love this so I'm going to add this to my collection yay was it <clears throat> Hannah or Tara let me know down in the comments one of you did a while ago <clears throat> and thank you I have that in my little collection okay next let's get this big one optical necklace oh is that like an eyeglasses necklace let's see okay Yep, so like, oh, it's like an art glass made to look like turquoise and coral. And then these things hook onto your glasses. But this is like brand spanking new, so it has absolutely no wear. And let me show you. See how beautiful that glass is? So pretty. Okay, we'll wrap that one back up. Next, this one. Luxur luxury ants. Luxurance? That's not even a word. Avon. Luxuriance. Luxuriance? Luxuriance bracelet. Well, let's see what the luxuriance bracelet is. <gasps> is it luxurious? Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. It's a little bit um, asymmetrical with a little rhinestone. Cute. And it does say size large. Avon. Just a just a really sweet, dainty piece. Love that. <clears throat> and I have not seen that yet. Are these? We have a ring here. So porcelain pastel ring. 
it is marked Avon and then it looks like pink glass right there does it say the size oh yeah right there size seven cute which is a good size I used to be a my ring finger used to be a size seven and then I had babies and now <clears throat> my ring finger is a size eight all right letter perfect necklace J my husband's name is James <laughs> who else do I know has a J Jen Jen has a J what is this a J oh it, that kind of looks like a G but me, yeah curse of J it is a cute little angel with a curse of J it's a necklace wow that one's so sweet someone will love that that is awesome cute okay fun I'm having so much fun especially knowing that everything's in excellent sellable condition this is great okay Avon Romantic Faux Pearl per Pierced Earrings with Surgical Steel Posts. Okay. Oh, they're big. Oh, and they're bows. They're so cute. Oh, love it. Love, love, love. Okay, so if I had these, like if I had, um, if I had like just one of these earrings that came in a lot, I could totally use that dangle to replace this on this Avon piece that came um, in the uh, in a lot before. Do you guys remember I was cleaning it with you guys and showing you that that little teardrop is damaged? Totally just take one off of an earring and replace it. Not gonna do it for, with these because they are so pretty. Okay, cute, love that. And there's cleaning instructions on like all of these. Okay, this one has some water damage. Let's see if this piece looks okay. Oh, okay. So it is just one of those caged, swirl caged pearls. And I have sold this necklace before. Looks like that. Really dainty and sweet. I'll almost all of these pieces are like dainty really pretty so there's that one not damaged yay okay dangling heart gift set so smart some earrings oh oh a button fell out you know why because my children were playing with um, buttons right over this lot so I wouldn't be surprised if there's more buttons. So we have a little Avon pillow for all your Avon loving critters. <laughs> and then we have a necklace and little earrings. It has three little like graduating faux pearls in that heart necklace, probably like an 18 inch, ne 18 inch long necklace. That's typically the length. And it looks like the necklace is trying to escape to put that back in cute okay that one would be perfect for like a gift for someone that you love sweetest day valentine's day all right state of states pin this is a pin here we go and it's wisconsin does it say wisconsin it says wisconsin okay if you guys know i live in wisconsin is this a sign oh that would make sense though <laughs> I'm so used to getting lots from, um, you know, shopgoodwill.com that it makes sense that when I buy a high bid auction local, <laughs> that it's a Wisconsin pin. That's so funny. Okay. Um, I wonder if any of these are the same. Mm, nope. They kind of look all, all different. <clears throat> all these boxes. Okay. Simply hearts bracelet and this is a size large oh that's pretty little filigree heart so sweet look at that so cute gold tone so now we know the name of a lot of these I was wondering like a lot of people will put like the name of an Avon piece um like happy holly earrings or something and then they'll put like 1993 and I'm like how do they know this do they have like this special book and maybe these boxes will say stuff <laughs> maybe that's how they know 
So this one is semi-precious filigree. Oh, there's rose quartz in this one. Flower pierced earrings. Oh, I see some filigree. Oh, these are cute with the rose quartz. Those are so stinking adorable. So feminine and beautiful. So yeah, semi-precious, which is nice for Avon. Nice, okay. Hearts of Fire pin. And another Avon pin. Okay. This one looks luxurious. There is etching underneath the enamel. Do you guys see that? Wow. Do you see? It's like so rich and royal and beautiful. Uh, that is beautiful. There's like etched hearts and berries and things. Wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That one is stunning. Okay. Delicate knot necklace. Is that like the one I just sold where it's a knot? Oh, yes it is. <laughs> um, I've sold this. This would be my third necklace that I have. I've sold the other two. This is the third. But um, I know it sells. And if you see these knots in jewelry, sometimes they could be like symbol symbolized for love. But I think a lover's knot might look different than that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it up on the screen what a lover's knot looks like. But yeah, sometimes knots in jewelry can stand for love. Okay, this one says simulated diamond accent necklace, 23 inches. Okay, barrel clasp. Oh, and they have all these bezel set. I wonder if they're CZs then, if they're simulated diamonds. Um, But they're they're bezel set and then on the other side they're like pointy see that this is so sweet someone i think that this one will do well just because it's so dainty and beautiful and bezel set so it's so interesting because the lady whose lot this was had some ginormous chunky pieces like statement, like big ceramic clown earrings, like this big, tribal stuff, boho stuff, Chico stuff, um, Cinnabar, you know, all the things. And then all of a sudden we're in Avon and it's all this like feminine, dainty, heart, look, so many hearts, flowers, pink. That's funny. Okay. Which, you know, like, that's what mostly Avon is. Oh, these are so pretty. What did it say? Frosted grapes, pierced earrings. <gasps> I love you, frosted grapes. Oh my gosh. They're like little cha-cha grapes. And they're so, they have such nice luster on them. I love these so much. And they graduate down to a little tiny faux pearl at the bottom. Oh, we love that. Love, love. So cute. Okay, this one. Basic lever back earrings faux pearl. Okay, we have, oh, big, big chunks. Big, big chunky earrings. Not really, they're, they're still feminine, but they're bigger than I was um, expecting. These would be very, very nice. Um, earrings to wear with j just the earrings peeking through your hair. These are big enough to be noticed. So pretty. And I don't think I would know that these are Avon unless they were in the box. Um, because the, mm, yeah, they are. Let's look at the back. See, they're not marked Avon on the back. Interesting. <clears throat> So yeah, sometimes Google Lens will tell me like the um, big long like cranberry grape looking things um, that I pulled out of the lot that I loved. I didn't know um, what they were, but I just decided to Google Lens them and then they came up as Avon and I was like, oh, and they were not marked Avon. All right, Moonlight Lace Clip Earrings. What does Moonlight Lace mean? 
um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you recognize any of these from your past. Love to hear it. Love to have the conversation going down below in the chat or in the comment section. Oh, they're fans. They're fans with little tiny faux pearl cabochons and their clip-on. Oh, so cute. I love these. These I love, 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 love. Oh, such like a pretty gold tone as well. Okay, so Moonlight Lace. Those are the fan. Fan earrings. What is this? Gallery Originals. Created in British Hong Kong. Exclusively for Avon products. British Hong Kong. Gold Tone Stretch Belt. That's what it says on the top. Okay, let's see. All right stretch belt and oh look at this art deco buckle wow so that's nice and again I don't think that it would have told me it was Avon uh, there's a little mark the G and and maybe that means gallery originals you guys see that the G right there gallery originals yeah, this is so smooth and soft, like nobody has touched it before. Um, so new old stock. Size large, which <laughs> probably fits more of like a medium size nowadays. But that is interesting. So if you guys see that G on belts, on stretch belts, know that it's Gallery Originals by Avon. And created in British Hong Kong. Cool. Cool. All right, we have more. We have quite a bit more. So what are we? We're at 20 some minutes. They're out taking the dogs for a walk. Two dogs. Not, we don't have any dogs yet. We only have the bunny. All right, let's see. Is that it? All right, we have those. Okay. Does this say anything? Oh, oh, it's trying to escape. Oh, this looks like a unisex bracelet, actually. Silver tone. With these chain links, they're a little bit textured. Really, really pretty. Lovely. New old stock. And it doesn't have a name for it, though, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Pearlesque Luster Clip-On Earrings. Ooh, yes, these, are, oh, they're so pretty, look at those. Really, really lovely. So, just the gold when it's new, it's so, so pretty. Okay, Loving Heart Pendant Simulated Ruby. So, I don't think that my Presidium or a Presidium would be able to differentiate oh my gosh this is still wrapped up so nicely should I unwrap it you guys can see see it through there um you won't be able to identify it simulated from a like a natural ruby let's see if that's true I'm gonna take my presidium onto these little Okay, well, it's just it's just showing up glass, so these must be simulated ruby in the form of glass. Okay, because it is just showing glass, so that's what that looks like. So pretty. Okay, these are um, catching my attention. It says cheery cherry clip earrings. What does that mean? That sounds like a lot of fun. Cheery cherry. Oh, they are so much fun. I don't know. That like red enamel just totally pops. So, so pretty. It is like such a nice color with that freshly new gold tone. Okay, we love that cheery cherry. It met all my uh, happy expectations. Okay, so this was originally priced $4.40. This one is Crescent Sparkle Pierced Earrings. 
gold tone. Oh, these are lovely. This would look nice with that belt. These crescent. And then they have the little sparkles in there. These are post earrings. Okay, let's get this one. Avon pink ribbon. Oh, I think I've sold this a couple times. And like a, the brooch, yeah. Brooch, necklace, earrings. And these are the earrings with the pink enamel. These do pretty well. They kind of look like breast cancer awareness um, in a way, like the ribbon. So I could see how you could uh, tie that together. It's not the same. So Avon pink. Yeah, these look like they're the same. So I have two of those. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I, this feels like another heavy thing. It just says Avon. Avon Americana belt buckle train. A belt buckle? An Avon belt buckle? Okay. We know there's train collectors out there and it's marked Avon. I have not sold an Avon belt buckle. Feels like a heavy piece, obviously. It's a belt buckle. Um, Made in New York, New York. 1985. Nice. There's no um, words or, or lettering on the train at all. But there are definitely train collectors out there, and I love selling belt buckles. Like, there's uh, belt buckles are along the same lines as jewelry in a way where they're small, easy to list. Actually, I feel like they're really easy to list because you just do front, back, and then measurements of like how big the belt can go in, and then um, just the measurement of the buckle itself. So, so easy. You don't even have to like put it on a bust or anything. I kind of want to open another big one. That was fun. So we have a belt, which was surprising. A belt buckle, which was also surprising. Okay, decorative manuscript initial pin J. So another, another pin, and this one is the J. So we had a J and a K. <laughs> oh, this lady was funny. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm funny. Not. So we have the J and the K. Um, okay, Pearlesque Beauty Collection Necklace. All right, I was showing you these before battery died. I was saying that they are not hand knotted, they are not glass, and they are not marked. So I would not know that these are Avon. Not that the Avon name in itself is gonna make these like desirable or anything like that, but I think that what's good about this Obviously, they're new. They're new old stock. And people that collect Avon um, like to know that it's Avon. And, uh, yeah, that they're in the box and everything. So, and obviously, pearls are classic. They do have the older clasp. Okay, so we have some Letter Perfect pierced earrings with a J. I am thinking that this lady, her name started with a J. Just a wild guess. Okay, we have, does, oh, look at little, little faux marcasite J's. So pretty. Silver tone with the faux marcasite. That's what those little stones are called. Marcasites. Okay, we have a box. Textured rope bracelet large. Okay, textured rope bracelet, just a classic, classic little bracelet. Gold tone, some of the chain links are textured and some of them are smooth and shiny. Again, this does not say Avon on it whatsoever. There's probably a lot of pieces <laughs> that I have put in craft because they did not have a maker's mark on them. That were probably Avon and that's okay. Okay, this says bold caged hoop pierced earrings. What does Avon think bold means? Let's see, what is bold to Avon? I know what bold to Rachel means. Oh, okay, these are a little bold. These are a little bold. They're kind of like little orbital um, doodads where um, you can see it from different directions and there's a bold <laughs> uh, 
uh, ball, ball sphere. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you have a sinus infection, ear infection, words do just, they just don't come. Okay, I need to tell you guys something. I went to the urgent care um, because one night I just could not sleep. I went to urgent care the next morning and I had to create an appointment. And so I'm standing outside of the urgent care facility and I see workers in there and I knew my appointment was like in a few minutes and I'm standing outside of the doors and, and the door is not opening like the sliding doors and finally a nurse pulls up and she was like you need to move over to the door that slides so I was standing in front of a window for a long time waiting for it to open <laughs> you guys and like I was just so out of it okay so that was fun Okay, boy silhouette charm. Let's see, where did the charm go? Where did he go? He's hiding. Little boy. There he is. Very, very small. So that could be for someone's charm bracelet. If they have a baby boy or a son or something that they're... Something. Some boy that they're fond of. All right, another size seven ring. This one says ice glow and it's a simulated sapphire. So I'm expecting blue. Yes, it's blue. Ooh, so pretty. Look at that. Very um, sleek. And this is like an everyday ring. Pretty. Okay, let's get this black one. Oh, Garden Friends Bobby Pin. Oh, Bobby Pin. Bee and Butterfly. Oh, they are Bobby Pins. You guys, Avon made Bobby Pins. <laughs> and it's a bee and a butterfly. And I collect bees. Oh, they're marked Avon on the back. Let me show you. I did not know Avon did this. Okay, learning something new. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are learning anything new. This is so fun. They are like jewels for your hair. Okay, we are keeping this. This is going to my collection. Where did I put the other one? Oh, here. So two things that you know that I collect now. I actually um, collect a few different things. But my collections are not big. I just know what I like and I'm hoarding it. I'm just kidding. So bowling, bowling pins charm. Okay, little charm. And yes, bowling pins and a little bowling ball. Cute. These probably are not going to go for a lot of money, but some money. Okay, what is this? Regal crown clip earrings. Oh, fancy. And these are clip-ons. These are little, little crowns. Those are pretty. That would be fun to wear that with a big Maltese cross. Be very royal that day. Okay. Another hair clip? What? Soft leaf convertible hair clip. What does that mean? Uh-oh. What is it? <gasps> what? 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 Okay, it does say Avon on the back, Japan. It kind of looks like Bakelite. I should probably test it. And then you, you can take this on and off. Was there other charms you can buy? <gasps> All the possibilities, right? Oh my gosh, was this a thing where you got to like put different charms on your barrette? You guys, I am liking this idea. Convertible clip may be worn two ways to remove leaves, gently slide hook off hair clip. Wow, those leaves would get totally like lost in my hair. I have very long hair. I feel like that would need to like be on the side of your hair, like um, on the other side of your part or something to stand out. But that is interesting. I did not know that. Okay. Pearlesque elegance pierced earrings. This looks, or this sounds like it goes with the pearlesque necklace. 
Oh, maybe, maybe not. Um, wow. There's these with a rhinestone halo around the faux pearl. Pretty. I wonder if they say pearlesque as in like pearlescent or um, like they have a luster or a sheen to the faux pearls. Okay, draped elegance, clip earrings, and they say coral. Ooh. These are the clips. Pretty little swirls with the uh, coral enamel. Okay, we have four more. This is um, your special day necklace. And then it says Wednesday. Is Wednesday your special day? <laughs> is that the special day? Your special day. Is this a wedding necklace? Why would Wednesday be the day? Why, why? Okay. Um, Wednesday's child is, is free of woe. I literally thought it said Wednesday's child is free of we. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not. So what does that mean? Why is Wednesday special? Huh, okay, three more. Paisley fragranced, fragranced earrings. What? The first fragrance earrings from Avon. Personalize them with your favorite scent to renew tablets. Simply remove tablets and immerse them in same fragrance. What? What? I am. Oh, these are the tablets, and you put them in your little paisleys? You guys, we're learning so many things. What? 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 That is something so fun. Okay. Paisley Fragranced. Okay, this one is Apple Harvest. I think I have a... Oh, yeah, I have an Apple Harvest pin, I think. Here is again, she must like that red enamel as well because she has the cherries, the heart, and the apples. Cute. All right, last one. Avon Hollywood style ring, size 10. Ooh, size 10 is my middle ringer, middle finger size. Whoa. Whoa. That is a fancy ring. Um, yeah. Pretty. Okay, so that was my haul, you guys. Let me know your favorite piece or if you recognize any of the pieces. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more like it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. And I have, um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, this week I am not putting out a what's sold over the weekend video because I got hit with being extremely sick. So it was like really hard for me to even ship. And I did not record. I was a hot mess that day. So I'm sorry about that, but I do have a men's accessory lot. So tie clips, cufflinks, if you are interested in that, let me know because it is coming up soon. Men's jewelry and accessories. I'm excited. I have a haul. We're going to be talking about that. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in that video. Bye guys.